What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic with the final results for the fourth Logic Challenge, which I know everybody has been waiting for. It has been a long time coming. In this challenge, we have to help our little friend out there and we have to stack the four color blocks. Now I tasked you guys with making a creation on this platform that would take all four color palettes and we can stack them on the platforms like so. So this is currently welded to the ground, making it a little bit easier to manage. So we've got the light blue, the purple, and then we've got the blue crate and the light green crate. And the objective was to make a creation on this platform that would take these four boxes and stack them one on top of the other in the middle in as fast a time as possible based on the grid pattern in the back here. The one thing I will say right off the bat, there seem to be two categories of people. There were a lot of submissions again, and there were a lot of very successful submissions. And there seem to be two categories. The one category being what I like to call the five second club and the other category being everybody else. And what happened was uh, most people chose to do creation that would pick up crates one at a time and maneuver them one at a time and bring them across one at a time and then there was the five second club who would take all the crates and kind of jam them together all at the same time and uh, sometimes they would work sometimes they wouldn't it took a long time to test because some of them I did have to redo but a lot of them were incredibly fast and our winner actually was less than two seconds so that's how fast people were able to do this. My creation here, this is, uh, you know, one of the other else club, um, you know, so I decided to use a single lifter arm and it would lift up crates one at a time and take them through the steps. So I believe I used 32 individual steps uh, in here. We've got a fair amount of logic, but really it's just a set of AND gates which compares the switch positions to the uh, output color positions and then determines where to move and then it repeats itself four times for each of the four crates. So it does bottom, middle, and then, you know, middle and top. So if we just hit go, we'll just, you know, without further ado, let it do its thing. So it goes over there, it finds the purple crate, brings it, drops it down, retracts. It's very slow, but it's consistent. I mean, it'll never screw up, it'll always do it correctly. You can see there putting that crate down going and getting the next one and it won't exactly center the crates mainly because it's using the small pipe pieces so there is a little bit of leeway but it makes sure that there's no sort of interaction and then done you can see there stacking the crates nicely purple blue light blue and green just like on the back here so this is how i did it very simple before we move on to the crazy quick five second club I want to look at a few of what I'm going to call the honorables. So although I did say there were only two categories, uh, people who used one grabber or used all four, there was actually one person who did a two-handed design, and that is Dry Cash. And this is this is joined the honorables mainly because I had to create a third category for it. And you can see there it goes out, scans them all. But look at this, it actually will use two hands. I... I don't know why this this helps and it rotates the center pivot so you can see just dropping that one kind of diagonally and uh it's it's really it's quite interesting how this one works uh mainly because it also rotates the body and there were very few that actually did that most people used a plethora of pistons i really like the body rotation but it does look kind of like a robot i mean i feel like you could put a head on top and have it say destroy all humans and it would probably do quite well this is really quite cool so i thank you for the submission although definitely not uh, part of the five second club so the second of the honorables goes to schroeder 95 and schroeder 95 gets it uh, mainly because again building this crazy contraption just like that robot arm rotated side to side this one didn't use any pistons to go left and right and pick up the boxes and in fact if we hit the switch there you can see it actually rotates the turret to see where the boxes are and tracks them using these kind of sensors here on the side i guess to see the colors so really a cool cool idea again another person using that sort of turret design and this counter bearing set up here, actually adjusting itself so that the claw always stays lined up with the boxes. Just a really cool idea. Uh, one of the few people not using just massive amounts of pistons. So making his way into the honorables, but of course still not fast enough for the five second club. So you're going to get deleted. It is time to see if you can spot who is fastest in the five second club. Here we go.
In third place with a time recorded at 2.38 seconds, it is Kip. Hopefully you guys were able to see that in the very quick compilation of all those creations. But uh, this is Kip's creation, obviously grabbing all four boxes at the same time with these claws. Uh, we've got these two sensor bars which eject out to read the colors of the boxes. And, uh, and then a bunch of logic which I'm assuming each of these sets of rows compares to each of these positions for each of the four positions in height. That would be my guess. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, I recorded a time of 2.38 seconds. Here we go in three, two, one. Look at that, flawless, amazing, super quick, super fast super stable and the boxes you can see as soon as he plants them they instantly stop moving which really quickened his time a lot of people were held back by the fact that i was looking at frames in the video and at each frame i could see where the boxes precisely stopped moving and uh, a lot of people were hurt by that and actually had their time a little bit further than it should have been because of that movement of the boxes but good job kip congratulations on your third place prize which unfortunately doesn't really get you anything but uh you know, congratulations anyways. In second place with a recorded time of 2.06 seconds. And like I said, guys, I had to go to frames in the actual edited video. I had to record all this footage and then go through each individual clip section by section and find the exact times frame by frame from the frame at which the button was pressed to the frame at which the last box stopped moving. And it was a very, very close race, but at 2.06 seconds, it is none other than our two-time AI challenge winner. It is sales. And uh, conveniently, he has put a seat on this, of course, grabbing all four. He's got the sensors mounted right on the arms. And in three, two, one, very, very quick, very flawless. And again, making sure those boxes stay without any sort of wobbling, any sort of movement. Not exactly straight, but uh, good enough for this challenge and quite, quite quick. But again, not fast enough for our first place champion. Now our first place for this week is a new winner to the Logic Challenges. This person has not won a challenge before. Uh, and of course, very, very fast time with a time of 1.52 seconds. It is Alstrak. And Alstrak has also put a seat here. You can see his claws kind of move in and out. They don't actually go, uh, they, they have sort of a little bit of an opening to them. But we'll see if he can get a quick time here. Three, two, one. You can see it was a little bit laggy when the pistons all came together, but the boxes are perfectly straight. There were a few creations, uh, the same, it's a weird glitch that's happening in Scrap Mechanic, where for some reason pistons on controllers sometimes don't save the measurements. It was happening to my creation. I encourage you, when you do upload something to the workshop, make sure you upload it and then download it yourself and make sure it still works. I had a few that, it, for some reason, they didn't work. If you didn't see your creation in the 5 Second Club and you think it should have been there, I know there were a few where the controllers were just all whacked and the pistons weren't going to any sort of proper positions and when you look at them on the controller it wasn't showing up correctly uh, so I don't I don't know what the deal was there it happened to my creation as well so I do encourage you to download your own creations and check uh, of course check out the discord while you're at it make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and let me know down below if you have more suggestions for AI challenges but congratulations to Alstrak again uh, good job and go collect your reward in the discord your lovely AI challenge winner title or logic challenge winner title I don't remember which one it is make sure you guys hit those buttons down below and as always I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next time.